World Wide Web. It's your boy, Marlon O'Bennett, the original student of the game of internet marketing. Can you guys see me? Here I am, guys. I'm down here. Down here. <laughs> Look, guys. Uh, you guys probably wondering, what is he doing, right? What is this crazy person doing? Okay, guys. In the next video, I'm going to continue on my theme with influence marketing, right? Influencer marketing and how you guys can inject influence marketing into your business, guys. In other words, I'm going to talk to you guys tonight about how you can grow your business, guys, by feeding the birds and a loaf of bread. Or a loaf of bread and feeding the birds. <laughs> you guys, does it make sense? <laughs> oh, 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 look, guys, I'm just having some fun tonight. But this really, 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 it really does make sense, guys, okay? Now, the other night I was in some training, guys, some great training, by the way. And I was watching uh, uh, Larry Beecham, guys. If you guys don't know this guy, go Google him. And I'm sure Larry's not going to mind me piggybacking off of a story that I heard him tell the other night. about, in, in, And it was in the thing where influence marketing is concerned. And uh, he told this story uh, about birds, right? And so I'm going to do this my way, guys. And so this is my version of this particular story, but Larry tells it so well, guys. And so, you know, for any of you guys who are part of the Legendary Marketers Club, you guys have seen him. You guys know how spectacular this guy is and how well he tells the story. But hey, guys, I'm a student of the game of internet marketing, right? I like to take things and I like to put my own spin on my own personal signature. So I'm going to make an attempt, guys, to tell you how you can grow your internet marketing business with a loaf of bread and by feeding the birds, right? Okay, so this is how the story goes. Okay, so there's this guy, right? And uh, he uh, wants to uh, feed the birds, right? He goes to the park every day, and that's just something that he decides he wants to do, right? So when he decides he's going to do it, he comes to the park with a loaf of bread. And on the very first day, guys, he takes and opens the bread, and he starts to throw breadcrumbs out, right? Right, just just above him, he just tosses the breadcrumbs out right in front of him, and it takes a little while, right? But after a little period of time, one by one, the birds start coming down out of the trees, and they start getting the bread, right? Getting the bread. So, in a little while, he's got about ten birds around him, right? And so he's really, really happy. But in a little while, all the bread is gone, so the birds are gone too. So the next day, guys, he comes out and he has two loaves of bread this day. And he starts the same, sits down on the same park bench, and he starts throwing the breadcrumbs out again. And this time, because he has two loaves of bread, even more birds come down out of the trees, guys. And guess what? They get a little bit closer to him this day than they did the day before. But again, guys, he runs out of bread, and all the birds go away. By the end of the second week, this guy is actually bringing six loaves of bread to the park with him, right? And guess what? Even more birds are coming down out of the trees, guys, and they're getting even closer to him. In fact, some of them are almost close enough for him to reach out and touch. He's really super pumped. He's really super excited, just like I am most of the time. And so week three, guys, he brings one dozen loaves of bread to the park with him and by the end of an hour guys he got birds literally eating out of his hand right by week three how did he do it that's attraction marketing right that's what that is okay and that's exactly what he did he had the birds eating out of his hand so how does this tie into an influence market what am i talking about look guys let me show you something These are breadcrumbs, okay? And look, you guys know I just went over a thousand videos on YouTube, right? So let's take a look at some of these breadcrumbs. These are breadcrumbs, guys, right? Okay? And that's just one of a thousand videos on YouTube. This is just two loaves of bread, guys. Two loaves of bread, but they're breadcrumbs. So when we talk about influence marketing, guys, you want to be throwing crumbs, right? You want to be laying crumbs on the ground 
And that way, guys, you know what's going to happen over a period of time? What started to happen for me, guys? And this is just with one or two loaves of breadcrumbs. I'm attracting people to me, guys. Now, I'm going to continue to put these breadcrumbs out, and I'm going to continue attracting people to me. Ultimately, you might not be eating out of my hand, but when it comes to influence, guys, and using your particular influence in your particular niche and setting yourself up as a person of authority, creating content with real value, I promise you guys, you're going to have a lot of people eating out of your hands before you know it. You're going to attract a lot more people to you. And the more breadcrumbs that you lay out, guys, the more loaves of bread that you continue to bring to the party, you're just going to attract that many more people. I think I did pretty good with that analogy, right? And Larry, if you're watching this, let me know what you think, man. But anyway, guys, you get what I'm saying, right? When you talk about influence marketing, right, the best way to influence people is through creating content. And the best way to do that, guys, is creating video. Video marketing is very powerful, right? If you guys have been on my channel for a little while, you've heard me talk about the fact that you can use any type of influence that you want, right? You can take failures you have and use the the, the uh, influence about your failures, right? And you can use that as an influence. You can use that, your failures to influence others. You can use your successes to influence others. You can use your experience to influence others. And as you go out, guys, and you start getting into creating your own content, particularly where video marketing is concerned, guys, you're just going to build on your personal development and you're going to brand yourself, guys. And guess what? In a little or no time, People are going to be eating out of your hand, man. <laughs> and look, check this out. Here's the real beauty behind it. I haven't even tapped into the, tapped into the, little, the smallest segment of the potential people that I can reach with my brand. That's what makes this so exciting. That's what makes it hard to go to sleep at night. I'm just getting started. These 1,000 videos, that's just one loaf of bread, guys. I got miles to go before I sleep. Lots of more breadcrumbs to lay, guys. You know what I mean? You ain't got to eat out of my hand, but I'm going to feed you. I'm going to continue feeding you with knowledge, guys. I'm going to continue uh, putting you and expecting you, right, prompting you to get in this place where you're always ready, willing, capable, and able of learning some things you never knew. Then you're going to start doing. You're going to start learning. You're going to start teaching, right? And then you're gonna, those are the breadcrumbs, okay? Those are the breadcrumbs. And then, guys, as you continue to feed people with knowledge, right? As you continue to provide people with content, you know, something that they can use, and particularly when you give it to them absolutely free, I promise you guys, in no time at all, you have to eat it out of your hand. How's that, Larry? Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, I got miles to go before I sleep. I had to have some fun. And I had to do that, guys. Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, get out of here, guys. I'm sleepy. It's 11 o'clock at night. Why am I still up? Who knows? Who knows, guys? I'll be back tomorrow with another video. But look, don't take the fun part, right? Take this serious, though. Serious, seriously, seriously, guys. If you guys have not shot your very first video, go get yourself a little webcam right uh use your cell phone use the to say if you know your mobile device whatever you got to do guys okay and whatever it is you're involved in whatever it is you like about it guys whatever benefit that it has for you whatever you're learning from it right go tell somebody about it guys go shoot a video okay we can speak our success into existence guys but we have to open our mouths. We have to take the first step. Remember that journey of 1,000 miles beginning with the very first step? Well, let me get started, guys, okay? Let me end this video by saying this. Come to the edge. But we're afraid, they replied. Come to the edge, he said again. So they came. He pushed them. And they flew. Spread your wing, guys. No pun intended with your birthday. I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, this is your boy, Ronald Bennett. Wishing you guys wisdom. Peace, prosperity, and to live in a dynamic digital internet lifestyle without limits. Keep banging, guys. I'll see you on the next video.